Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on whether or not upgrading your iOS firmware will slow down your device. Okay guys, so we're going to go ahead and try and upgrade our iOS firmware on this device here from version 7.1.2 to a later version or the latest current version which is 9.2.1 and we're going to just find out whether uh, running a or upgrading the iOS firmware on your device will actually slow down your device. There has been a few people on the web who have spoken about uh, after you know upgrading uh, to iOS 9 that their iPad has slowed down. So I just wanted to find out uh, whether I would have any slowdown issues on this iPad 2 and uh, whether it would be caused by an iOS update. So let's go ahead and we're going to run an app called Geekbench and this is going to be our benchmark software that we're going to use. So we're going to go ahead and run that. Now what I'll do first of all on this version iOS 7 I'm going to run this benchmark tool three times and then I will plug it into a power source and I'll run it another three times to see if there's any difference uh, between running off battery power and also while the device is plugged in. And then what I'll do is I will upgrade the iOS firmware on the iPad here to iOS 9.2.1 and we will see whether there's actually any slowdown. Okay guys, so the results for the first uh, benchmarking test here or Geekbench score is 264 for the single core and 500 for the multi-core. Okay guys, so the next result is the same again for the single core, so 264 and then slightly slower on the multi-core only just at 4.99. Okay guys, so we've got the results again. So 264 again for the single and 4.98. So still very close. Uh, hasn't really deviated too much on the multi-core score uh, for the iOS version 7.1.2. I'm going to plug the uh, Apple uh, device in now to the wall and we'll see if uh, having a charger plugged in makes any difference to the performance. Alrighty, so we've got it plugged in now. Let's uh, run the benchmark again and see if the scores are any different with the cable plugged in. Okay, so the single core score is a little bit higher now uh, on 265 and the uh, multi-core score has stayed pretty much the same. Uh, so regardless of whether the power is in, it uh, looks like it's going to perform the same. Let's try it two more times and see how we go. Okay, so the next result here is, is pretty much the same again. So 264 for the single and 499 for the multi. Okay guys, so you can see here that the last score uh, is 264 again on the single core and 499 on the multi-core score. So regardless of whether the device is plugged in or whether it is charging or whether it isn't charging, uh, the scores are pretty much the same. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm going to upgrade the iOS version to uh, 9.2.1 and then we'll run the uh, Geekbench uh, again and see if we have any um, downgrade in the performance or possibly upgrade the performance of the iPad. Okay guys, so you can see here now that I've managed to update the iOS. So if we go in now and have a look at the iOS, you can see the version is uh, 9.2.1. And we're going to go ahead now and we will run the Geekbench. So let's run the Geekbench right now and we'll see what results come up. Okay guys, so we've got the first result on uh, running the Geekbench benchmark on the iOS 9.2.1. And you can see there is a slight uh, performance downgrade here. So normally in the single core score we'd be getting around about 264 uh, and on the multi-core we'd be getting closer to like 500 so maybe uh, 498 um, to 500 so as you can see there is a little bit of performance hit uh, not much I would say probably you wouldn't even really most people wouldn't even really notice it but uh, let's go ahead and we'll keep running a few more benchmarks okay guys so you can see the uh, benchmark score here is a little bit better with 262, uh, so same as previous, and 497, so a little bit higher on the multi-core score, but still not quite as fast as what the iOS 7 was. I'm gonna run it one more time. Okay guys, so the same performance score again. So it's 262 on the single core, 
and 497 on the multi-core. Just wrapping it up guys, um, again, I don't think there is really any much difference with performance when you go from iOS 7 to 9. Uh, I might actually try this test again going from uh, iOS 9 to iOS 10 when it's released and then see if there's any performance downgrade. We may even find out that Apple won't even bother upgrading this device to iOS 10. They'll just leave it, leave the support for this device at iOS 9. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it from me. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye bye.